Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a neat little quadcopter. This is the Fatby, Ishin Fatby FB90 um, FPV Flyer. Um, this little quadcopter, as you can guess by the deuce by the use of the ducted fans, this is mainly intended for indoor flying. Although you can do some limited outdoor flying. That's what I'm going to do today to show you the outdoor flying for it. But again, it's mainly designed and intended for indoor flying. Uh, but let's go over the features of this. Again, we have four ductive fans. I believe there are 8520 motors on here. Um, inside we have an F3 processor, seriously Pro Racing F3. It's not the Evo, it's the original F3, uh, which means we don't have compass, we don't have barometer, we don't really need that though for an indoor flyer. Um, it also has a 48 channel um, FPV transmitter. It's an all-in-one camera. But the, the solid one has 48 channels. Uh, the resolution that is of the lens is 520 TV lines, TVL. And um, additionally, we have a 7.4 volt, 400 milliamp hour battery to power this. Now, this particular quadcopter comes in three flavors. Um, we can either fly with an F3, or I'm sorry, a Fly Sky transmitter, a uh, Free Sky transmitter, or a DSM2 transmitter. So. FlySky, um, Tyrannus, and uh, Spectrum type of transmitters we can use with this particular quadcopter. The one I've selected and I'm using is the FlySky version of this. Okay, so um, I have this bound to my FlySky transmitter. Uh, one thing though, you know, a lot of people have problems binding this. You gotta find the right screwdriver to, there's two little bind pins that you have to short while turning on the, while plugging in the battery. That's really hard to do simultaneously, <laughs> but you gotta do it. Uh, to get the or the um, particular transmitter to bind. At the same time, you got to hold down the bind uh, button and turn on the transmitter, and that should bind with the quadcopter. It took me about five tries to, before I finally got that little green light to light up properly to say I'm waiting for bind mode. So keep that in mind, folks. Um, what else do I want to talk? This The way this is set up, it comes with clean flight uh, installed. But the way clean flight was installed with mine was um, this up position on switch C was uh, disarming the motors and the other two positions which with switch C was angle mode with the motors armed. So it was not possible to fly acro mode uh, with this the way it was installed from the factory. Again, this would be motors unarmed and then these other two positions would be motors armed but acro mode. Now what I did was I went into clean flight and I changed that. This switch is now to arm the motors by pulling down and switch C has been set to angle, horizon, and uh, acro. Now noting that clean flight was set up mainly to fly this in angle mode, that again tells you this is mainly intended for slow speed indoor flying around your, say your um, living room. <laughs> okay, not really for intended for high speed flying, although I'm going to try to see what we can do today in acro. Uh, I'm going to fly it entirely in acro. A lot of people have already reviewed this flying around their living room in angle mode. Let's just see how it can fly in acro. We're going to try that outdoors. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Let's give it a try. Okay, correction. First, we're going to start off in angle just to show you that this can fly in angle mode and show you what, what it looks like in angle mode. So, um, actually, I should turn the transmitter on first. Hold on. <laughs> and I've got all switches set and it's set to disarm the motors and plugging in the battery on this again a little 7.4 volt battery I brought an extra one with me by the way this comes with two batteries I forgot to mention that and putting it on my little landing pad I got a new little landing pad here I kind of like this this prevents sand and uh, grass getting in the motors <laughs> I like that idea and switching to arm and again we're starting off in angle mode just to show you how it flies in angle let's bring it up by us and try a punch <laughs> just don't have punch <laughs> ain't no punch it's not meant to be punchy it's meant to fly around your living room which you can do again I'm in angle mode here's it's it's doing funnels relatively well but again most people will be flying around their living room in angle mode, but that's not my intent today. Just showing you can't fly in angle mode. And we're going to land it, and I'm going to switch to goggle flying via acro. See how that works out for us. Okay, disarming. 
Okay, we're going to switch the goggles. And I do have reception. And first off, I need to switch AV modes to recording, set recording. I am recording. Going back to AV and arming the motors, selecting acro, and away we go. Well, take that back. This does fly in acro. Feeling for this. <laughs> Woods land. Just go straight. Right, hit that tree. Let's see if I can take a beating. Okay, I'm it's taking off from the dirt. I give up with that, but we're going to try back in the acro again. It actually flies quite well. <laughs> I take back what I was saying about this mainly for indoor flying. Um, it's just that I'm having a hard time controlling it. Because I don't have a lot of acro experience. I better be more gentle with this. But yeah, this is working. This actually works quite well. I didn't think it would work quite well, but it is. <laughs> Try to keep it closer to us. It wants to pitch forward for some reason without me giving it commands. I, I'm constantly uh, pulling it back. I think its battery might be getting a little low too. But it's flying. I'm just going to fly in ovals here, folks. I'm trying to control this in acro, but needs. It's just not smooth in acro. But I just need more practice. But yeah, this is something you can practice with. Okay, how close were we? <laughs> we'll give it another shot. We'll run it until its battery is gone. So, here we go again, folks. Um, others have reported losing props on this. I haven't lost the prop yet. <laughs> Knock on wood. My head. Okay, away we go again. Oh. You know, it, it's... <laughs> its rates are kind of high. <laughs> i got to be more gentle with it. Let's try that again. And standing further away from it. Over here, Ed. Away we go again. Yeah, this picks up speed quickly. But, uh, yeah, this is, you know, I have the Q70 also, the Turbine QX70. Uh, this is actually better, in my opinion, in terms of its ability to fly, especially flying. It can fly acro. I had problems with the QX70 doing any significant acro flying. But uh, yeah, in the hands of a better pilot, yeah, this would be fun. Yeah, I guess a good thing to practice with, too. Here we go via slowly. And I'm starting to get the feel for it now, folks. you got to be very gentle with the sticks on this one, the way it's set up. But, yeah, finally I'm getting the feel for it. It's working. And... I'm getting a really, uh, relatively good flight time. Although, oh, here we go, it's starting to get, get weak. It's starting to get a little bit weak. Yeah, yeah you, you can't, you'd have a hard time flying uh, this indoors in acro, uh, although I'm sure somebody's able to do it if, if they tweak it a bit. 
Okay, my signal's starting to get a little weak. Well, I'm kind of far away too at the same time. Let's bring it back a little closer. But yeah, it's working. Okay, what I'm going to do now, folks, switching to angle. <laughs> back to angle. We're going to end the flight with angle and see how much flight time we can get. And now that I'm in angle, I'm going to try threading the needle here. Going between the trees. Angle is much easier to fly, as you can see. So, yeah, that's why they want you to fly this indoors in angle mode. And uh, it's working. So, doing a little flyer in angle mode. So, yeah, this would be fun indoors on those cold winter nights to fly around the, the um, living room. <laughs> Test your skill. But uh, it's uh, work. Oh, here we go. I that's our battery power, so let me take that hat back again. I'll take yeah. that and do a final wrap up here. Thanks, son. Well, the uh, Q or the FB90 is a relatively good quadcopter. <laughs> I, I kind of like it. I've seen others fly it, um, but uh, put it in acro, you can actually fly this outdoors. Uh, I didn't, you know, I haven't seen many people fly this outdoors, but it is an outdoor flyer. It can fly out here. I'm surprised. surprised. So. Again, this is the Yishin Fat B, Q, or FB90. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.